Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I am here with the one and only Chris Rollins from the Chris Rollins channel on YouTube. If you haven't checked it out, you certainly should. Chris is a legit acro FPV flyer. Now he's not uh, he's not you know racing for the DRL or anything, so we're not no. saying that. Oh, thank you. But uh, but when he told me he could flip one of these things in acro mode, which is something I don't know how to do, he offered to teach me, and yes, I thought, what a great video. So he's here in Austin. We're gonna do that, and we'll be right back. So as I said, Chris Rollins is here to teach me how to flip this thing. And we've also got Ken Heron here, who's going to fly his uh, Phantom 4 Pro to get aerial footage of this whole mess and hopefully not have a mid-air mid -air collision. So Chris, uh, first yes. of all, talk to me a little bit about when you started flying acro mode. Uh, I got inspired by uh, just searching it on YouTube. There's, okay. there's a lot of amazing guys out there doing some really phenomenal stuff. Uh, Mr. Steele, all the guys at uh, Rotor Riot, just phenomenal stuff, and it does so. It, it's so different than what we do when we're getting cinematic shots, right? Because uh, you're not you're not going for steady, calculated. You're going for crazy, insane. You're upside down. You're yeah. swirling, spiral, recovering, and then yeah, right. And then you know, obviously, recovering. So <laughs> well, and so and so. I just for everybody. I mean, you've seen me fly FPV. I am not great in acro mode. I'm trying to get better. But the first thing I need to learn how to do is a spin or a flip or or something like that. And so Chris is going to teach me that. Um, today, today we're using the Walkera Furious 215, and 215 is uh, the denomination or the measurement from uh, rotor to rotor, from point to point here. Yes. So it's millimeters, 215 millimeters from here to here. So most racing quads are 250s. I think yeah, that's, that's pretty about common average. size. Yeah. So this is a little bit smaller, but this thing's really cool. It's built like a tank. It's got cool LEDs that you can see at night or in the twilight. It's probably a bit bright for them today, and it also holds a GoPro uh, session or a yeah. cube camera here on it pretty well. That, that's a very cool feature because not a lot of them have. Have that built on already yeah yeah so we're not flying with it right now we're probably just going to dvr from the uh from the camera because we couldn't get the the gopro to mount but if we can we will but anyway let's go out do a little flying and see what chris can teach me let's see i'm out of focus <laughs> All right, so we're out at the field now, and we've got our uh, Walkera Furious 215. We've got a, a, a Devo 7 radio, which yeah. is a standard one that comes with it. It's a pretty decent little radio. It is, yeah. Came pre-bound and everything. So this is a couple of things about it. It's brushless. It's got uh, 20 amp ESCs. It's got um, the, as I said, the camera is adjustable, and it does take a 4S battery. This thing has a lot of punch. Yes, yeah, it really does. It, it'll it'll punch out before you realize you're punching out. <laughs> yeah, and so tell us a little bit about different flight modes. As I said, I typically fly in angle mode, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is good for beginners, but I also feel like it's one of those things where it's training wheels. Um, so like if you're used to flying the DJIs, there's a lot of assist. I think when I first started flying acro, I didn't realize, uh, and I've said this before, I didn't realize how little flying I was actually doing because the drone is calculating altitude, is calculating wind, and uh, you know, it's just all of your movements, your angle to the ground, it's, all, it's figuring all that out for you. Uh, this will do a, uh, basically you can tell this to maintain a horizon, basically fly, stay straight, but it will not maintain altitude and it, and it will not hover in place for you. So you start doing that. When you switch over to acro, it'll do literally nothing for you but spin the props. So it's, if you have that handicap sort of set up I said, if you have that mental handicap set up already, it might be a little bit of a shock stepping into yeah. going full acro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, and th uh, that's that's just it. Is I'm so used to flying where it stabilizes itself. It's right. been a hard transition for me. But as I said, goal today for me is just to be able to make it go like that or like that or something where it's upside down and doesn't crash into the ground and break all my props, uh, that, which is what normally goal. happens. It's a very solid goal. Cool. I think it's achievable. I think it's right. achievable. <laughs> all right so one other thing we were not able to get air mode on this so yeah. so basically what that means is that the props when you bring the throttle all the way down the props stop. actually stop they're not they're not in a hover mode so it makes it a little harder a little more challenging it's right a bit of a challenge yes because it'll it is, kills all the power to the props versus giving you a little bit of control uh, controllability so we'll make it work we just got to be mindful not to drop our throttle all the way down and I should probably have another strap here but we'll try without it and if, if uh, because we were flying like this before. If yeah, for some I, reason I it's not working, right. we can do two, two straps. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw these on, uh, make sure we're on the right channel on our radio, and maybe uh, get a little aerial footage of this uh, if Ken's ready, and uh, go from there. All right, cool. Um, All right, I think, I think this, that's, okay, I found the record, but that's what I was looking for. All right. 
Whoa, yes, yes. <laughs> so, okay, I got to watch the mechanics of your hand when you do that okay. this time. All right, I'm going to be watching to see what you're doing with your fingers. I'm going to come up a little bit. Nice. That is so cool. All right, I'm watching again. So, you want to come up. I'm killing the throttle. Uh-huh. So it's so while I'm upside down, it's not throttling into the ground. Yep, that's what I normally do wrong. Okay. And You're then, killing it all the way, all the way to zero. No, no, because we're not in air mode. Right. I normally I would taking it down, but I'm taking it down pretty close. Let me watch you do one again. Okay. Tell when, me when you're doing it, so I'm watching and your fingers. And now. Whoa! Sorry. Wow, Chris, that was quite a flight. Uh, I have to say, I am not gonna try this today for a couple of reasons. Number one, the crew is really hungry. Uh, number two is that the, uh, man, excuses, right? Uh, number two is that the uh, air mode, I, I wanna go flip this thing to air mode. Yeah, we really need it. And number three, I think I need to fly in the sim a little bit more in acro mode, uh, just, just to get a little more comfortable with it yeah. before I- Sims just, are a great idea. Yeah, Save yeah. Save you a lot of money. But, Guys, if you want to learn how to flip and fly in acro mode, first of all, don't be afraid to try it. Second of all, maybe start with a little indoor drone. I have some, a great one, the King Kong is great for acro mode indoors. Uh, this thing is really awesome for outdoors, but you need a big space because it's a big drone yes. and it has a very, very powerful motors. And it eats up real estate really fast. You, you may think you're in a big field, but like this, but you can run out of room really yeah, quick. Yeah, you were, really, you were getting really across the field in just a second or two. Oh yeah, these will do 50, 60 miles an hour like that. So. Right. And you don't want to hit anybody with this because uh, it would really hurt. Mm -hmm. um, it's not tickled. No. Uh, and so, Chris, how can people learn more about uh, what you do? What's a good way to do that? Well, uh, YouTube.com slash Chris Rollins would be a great way to go about cool. that. So. All right. What, what kind of stuff will they see on your um, I do a lot of drone stuff. Uh, I do a lot of uh, camera filmmaking type stuff like that. Um, and then random chaos, unplanned mostly, but yes. I like his channel. I, I, I reached out to him months ago and we finally got a chance to get together. And by the way, we had a, a guest who was flying those aerial shots. Uh, from Heron Aerial Photography. Hello. Ken Heron. Hi. Uh, so guys, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, we've shot several videos. If you like them, uh, please watch this. Give me a thumbs up and also go over to Ken's channel and to Chris's channel where you can see the other videos that we shot today. Kelly. Yes, sir. You want me to teach you how to flip? You said you want to flip. Yes. Hold my beer. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's see it. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> With a broken back. <laughs> and not right in the head either. All right, thanks guys, that's it. See you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Oh, I fingered, I did this at the wrong time. That's <laughs> all right. All right, I'm gonna try. Nice.